Hello everyone. So I never go out and I'm going out tonight. I'm going to dinner with my girlfriends and then we are going to a bar. So I wanted to do a little get ready with me video. Right now I'm wearing no makeup. Hair's just straight. We're gonna zhuzh this up, fix this contour, the whole nine. I have a glass of wine. I figured we will get ready together and I will show you how I do my nighttime slash going out makeup, which really isn't that different than like the makeup that I do to shoot in or any other day. Let's get going. So I put a mask on before, so my skin is kind of hydrated. I am going to add this primer to it. It's by Too Faced and it is the Major Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Then for my face, I am going to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Everyone talks about this one, it's the best one. My shade is 1.5, I think it says, but it's wearing out. Um, it looks like this. And actually the top of mine is broken, so I need to take it off. And one thing that I like to do with foundation, I don't know if everyone else feels this way, but I really like to apply it with my hands. I just feel like beauty blenders eat up so much of the product. I'm gonna take some on my hand and I usually just like blot it around just to make sure that every area gets some makeup. And then I'll rub it in. You could tell this color is basically identical to my skin tone. It's not super dark or anything. very thin it's not like a super heavy foundation you could still see my freckles my beauty mark and everything through it um, I like to kind of just put it everywhere then I'm going to use the makeup forever ultra HD light capturing self-setting concealer that is a mouthful I don't really like to wear super heavy makeup, but for concealer, I don't mind. And I actually don't find this to be super cakey. I really love this concealer. So I will take the wand. It has like this little brush on it. And I will just paint on a little triangle. Then I will take my beauty blender. I'm going to be using this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 replenishing primer and sped setting spray. Instead of wetting this in the sink, I like to just use it on there and then just start blending this. And whatever is remaining on here, I just do up here. And I'm gonna take my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I've been using this literally for 10 years. Maybe not 10, five, whatever. I love it. Um, and this Hourglass Cosmetics brush, it has two sides. First, I'm gonna use the big side. I take this big brush and I kind of just do a little here, here, down here. Then I take the smaller side of the brush, and use this to contour a little. For contour, the rule of thumb is that you wanna go from that little like inner triangle in your ear to the corner of your mouth. So you want the line to be like there. A little, a little more up here. Now we're gonna do blush. I like Orgasm by NARS. This brush is Hourglass Cosmetics. It is also two-sided. I use one for blush, one for highlight. Take the round one, get in there. And then for this, you want your blush to be like on the balls of your cheeks so you could do a really cheesy fake smile. Like. And then for my highlighter, I always end up going back to the same brand and it's the weirdest shit ever. When I'm gonna tell you what it is, you'll get why, but it works the best. It is Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's line for like Walmart or something. I was gifted it and nothing is better than this highlighter, I kid you not. There's three in here. Use the pink, the blush one. I take this brush, 
blow it off. I told you. So yeah, it's called Flower Beauty. Then what I'll do next at some points is go in with this Giorgio Armani. I think it's a, it's an eye pencil. It's um, dark brown and I like to just like recolor in my beauty marks so it doesn't look like my makeup is caked on. So I'll usually like just slightly so again it doesn't look like I'm like for eyebrows my eyebrows are looking kind of crazy right now I don't do that much I use this um, it cosmetics brow powerful one I usually just comb them I have very full eyebrows except like right here they're a little sparse so that's usually the only part I color in And then here, I have a little piece of hair missing in there because I walked into a pole in high school and I needed to get stitches. So I usually just kind of cover that up. And then eyeshadow. I have this cute little thing from NARS. It has two eyeshadows in it. One is called Alabra 1 and Alabra 2. One is like a pink and one is like a gold and I just honestly I go like this a little bit of pink a little bit of gold blow and then I just do both since it's nighttime I am going to do a darker eyeshadow so I have this one from NARS it is called Hataya P-A-T-T-A-Y-A -T -T and it's this gorgeous like brownish like brownish gold and I just take this big fluffy brush and I just put it in my crease I have eyelash extensions on, so I'm not gonna touch my eyelashes, no eyeliner. So I'm going to use this liner. It is L'Oreal Color Rich. The color is All Natural. I love L'Oreal's lip liners because they're very soft. And then we line our lips. Just a tip really quick. I say I overline my lips, but if you look at my lips up close, you could tell where the natural like line is so it's not that I'm lining it's just that overlining so much it's just that that line is very light and it's covered in makeup so you kind of just trace over that you should go like this then to smudge it a little and then I'm gonna take this book some buxom buck buxom why can i say that word buzzum <laughs> buxom I, I don't know buxom i know this word but right now i'm like freaking out um it's the plump lip polish and it is color samantha <laughs> buzzum <laughs> i'm dying it's just a gloss but i like it Okay, there you have it. That's my makeup. I pretty much do this every time I'm shooting or going out. I don't really wear makeup other than those two things. So here you have it. Um, I like to say that I just like glowy. So as you can see, a lot of highlight, a lot of gold, a lot of shine, nothing super matte. And that is my makeup look.